uh, it'll be good if we can get to the point. What the hell is self-defense and why do people get that wrong? What is self-defense? Todd, it's on you, brother. What, like, can, can, hey, bro, is it possible for you to ask me a broader question? Can you think of something that's broader? For, like, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's like, it's like, holy cow, man, where do you want me to start? You know, uh, to me, where do people get it wrong? They get it wrong because they're indoctrinated. They get it wrong because of, you know, I'll just say it, they get it wrong because of false teachings and sensationalism. That's why they get it wrong. And it's, it, these are a lo logics that fan the flames of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Um, at that Explain really, to us real quick what the Dunning-Kruger effect is for those the, who don't the know. Dunning, the Dunning-Kruger effect is, when, is a psychological phenomenon. It's a cognitive bias where people of low ability suffer from um, an illusory superiority in believing that their skills and their knowledge is higher than it is. And they also suffer from a metacognitive inability to recognize their own ineptitude. So that yes. doesn't happen in martial arts, right, Greg? No, oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Todd. Sorry, brother. No, no. So we, to me, what self-defense is, to me anyway, self-defense is taking a look at what the realities of violence are and how violent encounters happen and finding ways that we can mitigate, mitigate, mitigate that violence. That's what self-defense is. Um, Coach Greg, in martial arts, I, I think a lot of people think street fights is – self-defense and not, I'm not saying it can't be but where is the line drawn where where does it become a self-defense condition in your opinion well if you're looking at the for me when you're looking at the word self-defense you're defending yourself you're, you're trying to like Todd was saying mitigate the situation so you can get out of there and get out of there safely right your goal is not to go in there and get in a fight because that might go really wrong really fast but if you're now attacked or something comes at you or you have to defend somebody else, the whole goal is how do I neutralize the situation, get everybody out of there as fast as possible? It's not about me kicking somebody's ass. That well, might happen along the way, though. Right? It, it, is it there's possible a, for – oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Todd. I was going to say there's a difference. That one of the things I always like to tell people is there's a difference between a fight and an attack. You know, a fight is a duel. It's symmetrical. It's 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 mutual. It's a mutual understanding. But but an attack is asymmetrical, and it, and it's not it's not mutual. And a lot of times when we're talking about self defense, then it's going to be asymmetrical. It's not going to be it's not going to be mutual. I always tell my students if I'm going to teach you these things, and I ever find out that you're in a fight, that you're in a mutual fight and a symmetrical fight, don't ever come back here. You're not welcome back here. We don't why? use why we don't, why 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 such a hard line. Uh, that because that's the hard line that I draw at IDS. You know, to me, that's such a slip, slippery slope. If I'm going to teach you how to do damage to defend yourself, then you can take that same thing to do damage in a in a negative way. And I'm not okay with that. That's just not to me. That's not within our our sphere of morals or ethics or ethos. You ain't see him coming. You just heard drums. They've been ready for the battle. Any person that comes got the weight of the world on them. Yeah, they're too strong. I might have been dead.